Hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go. Hello. And we have got something super cool for you guys today. Um, a real special treat. We're going out uh, on a boat today to launch a research sea buoy. This is gonna be really cool. The buoy was uh, built by a young man in Washington, a high school student, Hayden, Hayden Brophy. And uh, he put this whole thing together. And we're standing here at Castaway Restaurant and Sushi Bar, waterfront. And we're here with Bo, there's the head chef right there, Bo himself. Hey folks, how y'all doing? <laughs> anyway guys, we're gonna uh, go out on the boat now. John, the owner of Castaway, is gonna take us out on his boat and uh, we're gonna go out into the Gulf Stream, into international waters and launch this sea buoy. You guys come along with us for the ride. We'll uh, maybe in another video coming up, our plan is to come here to Castaway and give you a feature of uh, Castaway's food. Bo might even show us how to do some sushi, right? I'm hoping you guys bring me some fresh fish. I'll make it happen, baby. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right, you guys come along with us. It's gonna be a fun ride. Hayden Brophy, a high school student at Juanita High School in Kirkland, Washington, built Wilson from scratch. He started this project over two years ago, and uh, his goal was to build an autonomous drifting buoy that would record air temperature, water temperature, um, barometric pressure, and uh, relative humidity. It uplinks to a GPS satellite every 12 hours and gives its tracking data and all the other data points that it collects as it floats along in the Gulf Stream. And you can track that online. And I'm gonna put the information here on the screen for you so you can see that. And it'll also be in the description of the video below. So you can uh, follow along with Wilson and his travels and see how far he gets and the information that he's sending back. I'm reading my documentation. <laughs> Step one says, Launch control leader, LCL, to set and communicate the launch time to mission control. We've already done that. We're planning on launching this here Saturday on the 8th, uh, around 2 p.m. Wilson's uh, ballast, or his uh, keel, if you will. Um, and it's got some chain. This bolt with three nuts and two rocks and a pencil. <laughs> Mission control. Hey, we have some questions on uh, how this thing's going to go together. Uh, all right, here, here he goes in the water. Float test check. We are headed out. Underway. Uh, Captain so John up there taking us out. We got there everybody on board. John is driving. We got chicken livers. We got chicken livers. We got chicken livers yeah, too. we got we got takeout before we went. John's the owner of Castaway here in Marathon, and uh, he's got us hooked up. Yeah. Everything we need to eat or drinks on board, ready to go. Leaving from the restaurant. Awesome. Got champagne. I got money. <laughs> and champagne. And champagne. <laughs> All right, you guys come along with us. We're gonna hit the Gulf Stream. Oh, Kentucky Bell. We are at um, uh, Marco Island with us. We oh, our oh yeah, she was. We're fixing to take Wilson here. He's gonna go uh, 14 miles to 15 miles off the marathon here. Uh, we're gonna drop him in the Gulf Stream and we're gonna send him on his way. Every 12 hours, he's gonna check in with uh, the Brophies and uh, let him know where he is, how hot he is, how hot the water is, and if there's any kind of humidity going on out there in the ocean. And good might wind up in North Carolina, might wind up in Greenland, might wind up in England. Who knows where he's going? Back at Key Colony Beach? Probably not back at Key Colony Beach. <laughs> Probably not. I have one question though. Yes. You said that it was going to tell how hot it is and how hot the water is. Yep. What if it's not hot? Well, if it's cold, it'll also tell how cold it is. So it's multi-purpose. Yeah. Okay. That's, That's all I need to know. It'll tell how hot it is and or how hot cold. As long as he stays dry and it's got a view of the sun or the sky, he's good to go. Woo. So that's what Wilson's doing. 
He's also got a nice keel on him here that keeps him nice and even. Oh, and my involvement here is I'm just taking it out on a boat. I've built nothing on this. This is all uh, Hayden Brophy. Hayden? 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 Hayden Brophy. And his dad, Mike. Uh, mostly Hayden. That's a good looking boat. So, you know, that's, that's what we're doing today, Mark. I uh, want to make sure we're on an easterly course before we put Wilson in the water. Yeah. We're currently at uh, north. Ah, oh, man, where'd he go? Right side, my face is dry. North, 24, 22, 730. By west, 081, 06, 007. All right, here you go, christening Wilson. Oh, with Mick Ultra. Mick Ultra christening. <laughs> there we go. All right, Wilson. Enjoy your swim. Bye, Wilson. Safe travels, man. There's Wilson. I think we should. Chris, by drinking the beer, too. Good luck, Chris. That keel's helping him out quite a bit. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, Wilson's Wilson. cooking compared to us. Yeah. <laughs> Wilson is well, he's, got, he's got a little lower profile in the wind all right guys so you can follow along with project wilson at www.projectwilson2020.wixsite.com and once you're there on the website you can actually go to uh, find out everything you want to about the project and you can go to tracking data and follow along uh, right along with wilson as he travels up the gulf stream and see how far he's gotten this was the uh, initial launch and the launch site. These are going to be readjusted because we didn't have uh, telemetry data right in here. But I did check this morning and Wilson had already traveled about 30 miles up the Gulf Stream uh, overnight. So this should be pretty fun to watch. So anyway, um, you guys check in here at the website so you can see what's happening with Wilson. Wilson was deployed yep. 24 and a half miles due south of Marathon, Florida in the Gulf Stream in 85 degree water Yep. and yep. we are the team that put her out there. And he's he's right. on the way. Good job to Hayden uh, Brophy uh, who put this thing all together and uh, good job to Mike Brophy for uh, helping his son out like a good dad does. So uh, it's up to you and uh, beside it now we're out of the picture. Mm -hmm. Have fun Wilson and safe travels. Okay. So like and subscribe and come see us on Gables on the Go. See ya!